Is KDP saturated? Are there no longer any opportunities to self-publish on the KDP platform in those very competitive or saturated niches anymore? Well, one publisher doesn't think so, and she, well, I think so she, is crushing it to the tune of making between eight to $15,000 a month in a very competitive niche with one of her best-selling books only published within the last three months. So we're going to take a closer look on how she did it to get some insights which you can use yourself to find some profitable niches, hopefully get your books ranked, and hopefully make those all important sales. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, to keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So I get a lot of messages, particularly when I create videos on a particular niche. And these messages go along the lines of, you know, this niche will now be saturated. I've ruined this niche. Or just in general, you know, the whole KDP business is saturated. There's no longer any opportunities. So I thought I would take a closer look at this and we're going to look at one of the most competitive KDP low content book niches out there and that's the coloring book niche. And I did a search for it on Amazon and we can see that there are over 70,000 results for the coloring book keyword, which is highly competitive. So what I want to do is on the first page, look for books that are independently published. That means they're published on the KDB platform, which means that opportunity is open to you guys out there to publish books on the same platform. And I want to look at books to see if they have been published recently, because if they've been published recently, we want to know how they've possibly done it. So I scrolled through the list we've got here and had a look at books that were published independently. And we've got this one here, published in May 21. That looks pretty good. This one here, May 21 also. That's within the last three months. Again, pretty good. This one here, April 21. And this one here, March 21. So on the face of it, it looks like you can publish a book and within a few months, possibly get on the first page in a very competitive niche with very competitive keywords. So let's dig a bit deeper. So I thought I'd take a look at this author here, Larisa May, who has this book published here, Creepy Kawaii Coloring Book. So I had a look at her list of books. And in fact, she's got around 13 books here with a lot of them having excellent low bestsellers ranks. And they all seem to be coloring books with a lot in this general kawaii coloring book theme. Now, I took all those bestsellers ranks. I put them into a book sales calculator at tckpublishing.com to get an idea of how many sales were being made a month. And then I multiplied that by the um, royalties, by the profit she's been getting for each book. And this came out to a figure of pure profit of between eight to $15,000 a month. Now, based on experience from my books, it's normally towards the higher end of that figure. But we'll take the lower end of $8,000 with this number of books, which I think you'll agree makes a pretty good, decent income. So how is she doing it? Well, she could be running ads on her books. Now, when I looked, I couldn't see any sponsored ads there, but that doesn't mean to say she hasn't been running any. But I know from experience of running ads on my own books, to rank on the first page within three months uh, for a very competitive search term like coloring books would be very hard indeed. And you would have to, one, throw a lot of money at it. And two, I think it would take a bit longer than three months to cement uh, an organic ranking on that first page for this particular keyword. So there must be something else going on. So I decided to do a search for Larisa May to see if there was any big marketing campaign going on here, but I couldn't find a lot. I found these videos that are being published on YouTube on these various channels, which seem to be reviewing some of the of Larisa May's books. I just got a Goodreads page. I looked at the Instagram, but that wasn't anything related to books and I couldn't find anything else. There wasn't even an Author Central page, 
There was no uh, website devoted to her. There was no Facebook page. Uh, there was no big publishing house or brand promoting her books. So I think there's something more going on. And I think this is something more fundamental to creating and getting your book seen on Amazon. And I'm going to show you what it is right now. So if we go over to Amazon and just take a look at this book, first of all, we can see it's in the kawaii coloring book niche. So I went and put that into the search bar and we can see there are 2000 results for kawaii coloring books. So straight away, that's better than 70,000. And if we scroll down, there's some people running sponsored ads and you can see this particular publisher has the number one and number three spot, and actually looks like the number four spot as well for this particular keyword. She's got good designed covers, look very professional, and she's using relevant keywords in the title and subtitles of her books. Now I went to look at this a bit further. Now, what struck me was a couple of terms here that I wasn't familiar with, and that is creepy kawaii and pastel goth. So I entered these into the search bar on Amazon, and you can see that for creepy kawaii, there's 720 searches per month, which was on Google, which is quite surprising, particularly as that personally, I'd never heard of it, but there's obviously uh, a big creepy kawaii movement, and Amazon is suggesting keywords here. So that looks promising in terms of a possible audience for this particular type of book. So I drilled down a bit more and put in creepy kawaii coloring book into the search bar. And you can see here, there's only 224 results, which means there's now a lot less competition for that particular keyword. However, there appears to be a decent sized market and people searching for books in this particular niche. And again, we've got these sponsored ads, but this publisher is appearing at number one and number two for these keywords. But if you scroll down and look at the other listings for this keyword, there's not many here, if any others at all, using creepy kawaii in the title. And so I think Larisa May has got that number one organic ranking spot purely based on the fact that she's using creepy kawaii and coloring book in the title of her book. I then went to do a similar, similar thing with Pastel Goth, and I was amazed once again. Look at the number of searches on Google per month for this keyword. Again, I never heard of it. 90,500 per month. So this is a, a huge, huge niche. And again, Amazon is suggesting Pastel Goth coloring book, which indicates that people are searching for coloring books in this niche. So I had a look, put in pastel goth coloring book and only 229 results. And again, we've got the sponsored ads and this publisher dominating the number one spot for this particular keyword. And again, look at the title using pastel goth coloring book in the title. So what does this tell us? Is it easy? No. Is it possible? Yes. But it requires work and it requires work to find those sub niches and to find those less competitive keywords. Because if you can rank highly for those less competitive keywords, where there is a market for that particular uh, niche or keyword, then you can get sales and reviews. And once that starts to happen, Amazon will then push your book and show your book for those more competitive, broader keywords to the point where, as we see in this example here, you can rank on the first page for an extremely competitive general keyword like coloring book. And you need to get into that mindset of, you don't need a huge marketing budget. You can publish these books on KDP and have the same opportunities as these other authors who also publish on KDP. You may, need to run ads to get books kickstarted, but not necessarily so. But you do need to put in that work to get those niches and keywords, as I've just mentioned. You see, people often come up with reasons for why other people are successful and they are not. You see, the easiest thing in the world to do is nothing. It doesn't require any energy and it doesn't require any effort. But in order to justify that, a lot of people come out with excuses like KDP saturated, this niche is saturated, oh, you've got to run ads. And it's a lot easier to justify 
not to do something rather than put in the work and effort to do something. Now, this business, like any business, is not going to give you an overnight uh, success. It does require work. It is a skill that requires practice also, but it is something you can do and anyone out there can do. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the skills to get in books seen and ranked is keyword research. And I've done a video here, which I suggest watching next on keyword research and how I find those low competitive and profitable keywords. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time, goodbye.